Hey nail besties, it's your girl Brie Nail Dead. Welcome or welcome back to another nail video. Before we get into this video today, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And also turn on your post notifications. That way you get notified every time I post a new video. So yeah, I'm super excited about this video today because um, this is one of my favorite clients. She's been with me for a minute. Uh, I want to say at least like what? two years now yeah she's been with me like yeah about two years now sorry you know i got crazy cats they're they're probably fighting but anywho um i'm super excited for you guys to see this set today because one every time we get together we always like you know jump off each other's ideas so i just love how you know everything comes out when we, you know when we, when we link up so it just it just be perfect so i'm super excited and honestly y'all my application was bomb with this day okay like my application was application in okay because it was just so smooth and so i got a new brush um i did i was using my big brush i know you guys remember um that brush was like a, a size 18 and i went back down to a 14 because i just felt like that was just you know I like it on on um, people who have like wider nail bits, but I wanted to change my brush. I had the Valentino one, um, and that one was okay. I liked it, but my brush got like dirty, and then I couldn't clean it, and then it just became a mess. So I only use that brush sometimes, but this is the Panna brush from Amazon. And I'll leave a link in the description so you can go find it. Y'all, I'm still working on this Amazon list, so don't hurt me. <laughs> I've been going through a lot of changes. Um, I'm actually not even in the suite that I was in um, when I recorded this video. you know talk about changes um but honestly even since i've my clients have been very supportive you know since i've been you know back you know doing my nails where i'm doing them so yeah i truly appreciate that and i also too been traveling to clients so it's like you know the ones that are like super far and they don't want to drive i'll travel to them because you know i'd like to let my clients know that I really care about them and I appreciate their loyalty and I will go hard, you know, just like y'all go hard for me. I'm gonna go hard for y'all. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I gotta really appreciate the girls, you know, who really support me because without, without y'all or my clientele, like I wouldn't be able to, you know, live on my dreams. And even though I feel like I was going back a little bit, like you know i felt like i was backtracking but you know sometimes you have to like not necessarily restart but regroup you know what i'm saying and just get back to why you started doing this to begin with you know what i'm saying and just get better and then everything else will fall in place when it's time right now you know it may not be my time but my time is coming and i'm not going to give up and i'm going to keep doing it because this is something that I really enjoy doing it, something that I'm very passionate about. So, yeah. So, sorry, guys. Didn't want to, you know, be a little emotional. <laughs> but, you know, like I said, when I talk to y'all, like, y'all my friends, like, honestly, this is why I love YouTube because this is, like, my outlet, you know, where I can just express myself and, you know, and talk to people and relate with other people because some other people may be going through the same thing. So, it's just like, you know just don't give up on your dreams as, as as hard as life is we can't stop that because the only thing that's constant is change so everything is going to always change so you just have to learn how to just roll with the punches and as i get older that's what i'm realizing you really just have to you know go with the flow like it's easy to say don't stress you know but you know it's, it's, it's hard to to not do you know what i'm saying so because you know life does get complicated and it does get scary you know and um we just gotta do what we can and that's okay just do what you can 
and just do the best. Um, sometimes we do lose sight of certain things. And like I said, we just we have to go back to where we once were and just keep that same focus and don't stop and just keep going. So that's what I'm doing. And I also encourage anybody who's listening for y'all to do the same, no matter what you're doing in your life or what you want to do, just keep going. No matter how many people tell you no, it's going to be one something that's going to tell you yes. So just keep going, just keep going, keep going, keep going. But yeah, so I'm excited about this new journey. I was sad at first. I did cry, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, you have your own vision that you see for yourself and then it's just like when that vision doesn't happen how you want it to happen it, you feel like you failed in a sense but no it's just like I said the only thing that's constant in life is change and you just gotta go with it and roll with it and do the best that you can do and be the best that you can be period so yeah, so now that we're off that, you know, I wanted to talk to y'all and let y'all know what was going on. I wanted to do like a story time in this video because I've been thinking like when I do my voiceovers, do a story time because now that I'm back home, I am going to be like making more content with like my face too where you guys can see me. And then of course, I'm going to show you the process of my nail room. It's partially together right now. Like it's together enough for me to work and it looks nice and decent, but it's not 100% where I want it to be. So I'm definitely working on that little by little. I told myself I'm just going to buy one thing you know every week if i can you know what i'm saying like if it's in a budget i'm still trying to see if i'm gonna get this part-time job but yeah so excuse me i um want to definitely you know like surely but sh like ease my way into you know getting my room how i want so i don't want to do it how i usually do it because sometimes i just be like oh it has to be like this has to be like that has to be this but it's like no girl do it over time that way you don't rush and you don't have to feel like you gotta you know keep doing stuff so and i want my nail room to be really nice because i want it to be comfortable i know i do want to paint it i want a black wall so the wall that I sit on, or yeah, that I sit on, um, I want that wall to be black. And I did see those squiggly lights. So I wanted to do something like that and get like two tall vases and get like some pink, like some light pink feathers. I was thinking maybe like light pink and black feathers. Like, I think that would be cute, but maybe not because it's going to be on that black wall. So maybe just like light pink and maybe some like gold feathers. But I don't know. Share with me some ideas, guys, of what I should do. Um, my colors, I was doing blue, but I switched my colors. So I'm trying to switch everything over to pink. So I know for sure I want to like, a, I want the other walls pink, but like a soft pink, not like a hot pink. Um, cause I'm, or maybe I should do like a, uh, like a, a natural pink cause it'll have that black wall. So it'll be nice. Cause I, whatever it is, I want it to match the feathers or whatever concept idea I'm coming up with. But yeah, um, I, w I know I want to get like a cute mirror to, to go on one wall and I want to mount my TV. So Yeah. I'm just slowly but surely get it together and you know as I go through this process you guys will go through it with me so yeah definitely share some ideas in the comments and you know if you guys are going through the same and what you do to keep going and to stay motivated because that's what I'm on right now I just want to stay motivated I want to stay motivated and on a grind and that's what I'm trying to do you know when you're an entrepreneur like a lot of people don't get it like the people who are not entrepreneurs they don't they don't always get it it's really hard you know <laughs> when you're an entrepreneur and you work for yourself and it's just like it's so many things you know and there's so many late nights and long days and everything like that but it, it's all worth it it's all worth it even the broke days. 
it's all worth it but yeah guys um i've been feeling real positive lately and i have some positive people around me and i truly appreciate that and like i said i'm just excited for this journey and i know every moment of it is going to be beautiful whether you know good or bad but it's my journey and yeah so i don't think i'm gonna talk too much in this video um i think i'll just let you guys watch the rest of the video but i really do like talking through my videos i feel like it kind of helps you guys get to know me better too and it's not just like oh doing nails you know what i'm saying but then again some people probably just want to see and don't even want to hear me talk they probably like girl shut up but <laughs> but yeah i am gonna be doing my nails again though y'all but i cracked my nail in half and um it's growing it's growing off my skin now so i'll be able to clip it soon um but yeah i wasn't doing my nails until till that but the duck nails i I removed, but it's just my middle finger that's still on there because y'all, I cracked it. But that was my fault because I had lifted it with another. <laughs> I know I lifted my nail, y'all. I don't do this to my clients, but I, I was trying to take my nails off, okay? I'm not finna explain to y'all. <laughs> y'all not finna judge me. But I was trying to take my nails off and um, I was moving and stuff too, and I already had lifted it a little bit and. I must have grabbed a box a weird type of way and I hit it head on and it like bit my nail so hard and hard. I was like, ooh, it hurt so bad. And it was just stinging. It was just like, ugh, I hate that feeling. And then all I heard in my girlfriend here was in my head was my girlfriend like, I don't even know why y'all wear that because that's dumb. <laughs> I don't want to be in pain but it's not like no it's not all the time but that was my fault because i had already lifted trying to take it off but i didn't get it off all the way so that's my fault i should have took it off or i should have at least cut it down you know so yeah crazy me i be doing a lot of crazy stuff y'all <laughs> but yeah this set came out so cute and the color that i use okay so i'm gonna tell y'all actually yeah i'm gonna tell y'all so what i use so i'm gonna actually tell you what i use from like start to finish so i always use as far as like my prep i always use um well i told y'all i make my own dehydrator so i always use my own dehydrator and then i use my young nails protein bond and i always use the protein bond two times you don't need them to use it no more than two times some people um you don't even need to use it like two times you could just do it once and you'll still get no lifting but i like the little extra security but sometimes too much of a primer can cause lifting too so just be careful of the amount that you put um but yeah i use young nails primer and then for this application i believe i use um well i mix bad and bougie and a little bit of glamorous nude together and i got this color like this nude color that y'all see um those are actually two of my favorite nudes i also like raspberry cream cheese too by uh uh v beauty v beauty pure because let me stop saying valentino um <laughs> but yeah v beauty pure i use uh their what am i saying y'all yeah the, the acrylic powders i'm sorry y'all i was having a little brain fart but yeah i used that and then um the clear also vb pure um that's one of my favorite clears another really good clear too that's a little bit cheaper than a uh, v beauty pure would be me a secret bomb um i was getting a clear acrylic from a nail store but with the nail stores you gotta be careful because sometimes like they set super slow and that can be definitely detrimental to your application <laughs> so yeah um i always say either go with me a secret or honestly i'll say top three um c and d me a secret valentino miss not necessarily in that order but those are top top three my my favorite top tier um cnd is also a little bit expensive but if you are licensed 
um, you can get it from like Cosmo Prof and all the um, beauty stores that require a license. Um, but it is expensive because I want to say like a, a four ounce is like $50 or it's like $40. I was like, wow, that's insane, like four ounces. And I, I paid like what, well, I can't say that because Valentino's like, what, eight ounces is like mm, 30 something bucks, I think. So yeah, those two, they're probably like neck and neck in price. And then um, Mia's Secret is pretty, it's a little bit cheaper. So yeah, those would be top top three acrylic clear acrylic powders and then i also use mia secret but i mia secret monomer as well but i go back and forth between mia secret and young nails um those are probably like my two favorite i was using kiara sky and don't get me wrong i really like kiara sky but for some reason kiara sky's monomer is very very strong like to me the scent is really strong so um I stopped using that for a minute because I was getting like, you know, headaches, but it was just really, really strong. But it works good. Don't get me wrong. It works really good. But to me, it just was really strong. But the Mia Secret one, I don't feel like that one is that strong. And Young Nails one, I don't feel like that one is that strong either. I like Young Nails. Young Nails works really good. And then um, this is my favorite bit to use to file. Um, I went back to doing what I used to do, which is like before I use the e-file, because please people stop calling it a drill because, okay, sorry. I had to <laughs> make a pu public service announcement really quick, but please stop calling your e-file a drill. Like we do not do surgery. <laughs> we, we are not fixing houses on nails. We are doing nails. Please call it an electric file because that's scary too to clients you know especially like new clients or even like the clients that don't like the e-file already and then if you call it a nail drill like sometimes you know we just got to check our vocabulary but yeah definitely um e-file the e-file that i use i've had that since you know nail school but i am trying to invest into a new e-file but also um what was i saying before that oh yes <clears throat> before that i was saying i i like that that bit that i was using it's a fine bit and it works really good because it also gets like some some of the cuticle that you may have missed so that's why i do like that and it just helps the nails blend seamlessly and then the polishes that i use a lot of them are vb pure or dnd &D. those are like the main polishes that i use like i use them this pink is vb pure but it is i mixed it with a little bit of white because it was like more of a hot pink and she wanted a more like pastel type of pink so i just mis mixed it together um but yeah and then my two favorite top coats right now which is koopa and this is going to order because koopa will always be my my number one but then again i got three because okay so it would be koopa then the shiny gel from Enel Couture, and then the Mia Secret, um, a super glass finish. Those are probably like my top three top coats. And I feel like any beginner, um, Koopa is $10 at a nail store. Most nail stores sell them and you don't even have to be licensed to purchase them. Um, also, Mia Secret is $10 as well. Um, and then the shiny gel, I think that one is like $15. Um, no, it's not in stores. You do have to go to emailcouture.com to purchase that. But it comes in a super cute bottle. I love the bottle. It's super cute. It has like a pink top and it has a silver bottom and it has like a star on the top. Super cute. I love No, it's a heart. I love it. And it's like super shiny. That's why, yeah, shiny for real. Max did that like for real, for real. But yeah, guys, I just want to tell y'all, thank y'all so much for watching my videos. I've been watching my analytics and I just see, you know, people watching and liking. Um, I'm just trying to engage more and because I want you guys to engage more with me as well. Because we are a nail family. When I Just because I call y'all nail besties don't mean we not family. Like, no, yeah, we're besties, but we're also family. Y'all my nail fam. 
you know, nail besties, nail fam. You know, I'm, I really rock with y'all and I really appreciate y'all for, you know, supporting me and watching my videos. Um, I really do because y'all don't have to watch me and I appreciate y'all for watching me. And I just can't wait to see our channel grow. We're on the road to 1K and I know we're gonna get there. And with everything changing, we're definitely gonna get there. So yeah, I truly appreciate you guys. Thank y'all for letting me rant and chat with y'all <laughs> while I do my clients' nails. I truly appreciate y'all for real. And I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. Um, I will try to get this video out on Friday. So I do hope you guys have an amazing weekend. Be safe. Do what you love. Don't stress. I know it's harder. It's easier said than done. But just do your best and do what you can. And everything else will follow. I love y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button. Leave a like and a comment and turn on your post notifications. This way, that way you're notified every time I post a new video. I appreciate y'all. Have a great one. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.